Hello there, travelers, and welcome to my channel. I'm Shifty Nivy, and if you enjoy goofy, cozy gaming content, then get your snacky snacks and snuggle in. And if you want to keep up to date with all my shenanigans, remember to do all the fun things, the likes, the follows, the subscribes, all that good jazz, because it appeases the algorithm archon and it keeps me in your feed. Okay, we have the Arataki Beetle Battle Boot Camp, and I have streamed it already live on Twitch. However, I wanted to do a complete playthrough on our Small Beans account today and share just with my homies on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's just gonna be me chilling here, recording, having fun. And I wanted to preserve this little piece of lore in one nice, concise video for all of those who may join the game in the future and not have access to this content. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. And boom. There we go. Okay, Kazuha, let's Wherever do this. in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. Quick update on Small Bean's account. It is the love. We do have our traveler <laughs> to level. 90! Yay! Our first level 90 character, and it's only fitting that it is the Traveler, not because they take the least amount of materials. I promise. Okay, that might be a fib. Alright, it is because they take the least amount of materials, and they still don't have artifacts. So, I am working on that. That is the next grind for the Traveler. Where are our peoples? I think I'm going the right way. Let me look. Yes. We're going the right way. We have the zoomies to wine and restaurant. Shinobu is the deputy of the Arataki ga gang. Yeah, gang. Legal consultant, expert chef, expert tailor, Kuki Shinobu. Traveler, Paimon, you're here too? And Yanfei. We love Yanfei. Yanfei, Shinobu! Here for some hot pot, huh? What's the occasion? Oh, uh, was Zhengling's cooking too hot to handle? No, it's nothing like that. Wanmin restaurants just closed for a couple of days. But it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. Su Arnyang's hot pot is pretty good. And you can't get it at Wanmin restaurant. What? what wait a minute. Why are they closed? Wanmin's closed? Why? What happened? Well, it was partly our fault. Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and said they were organizing a get-together. Yenfei's the most senior among us, since she's the most qualified, so she got to pick the location. And she booked Wanmin Restaurant. The turnout was a lot higher than expected. And in the space of two days, we somehow got through all of the restaurant's stock for the week ahead. <sighs> Boss's enormous appetite was also a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he's had in months. The only thing is, it'll take him at least a couple days to fully restock. Wait, are they talking about Ito? Bull Checker's here too? Yay, Bull I'm Checker! We haven't seen him. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Yeah, when he heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote, any classmate of Shinobu's is a classmate of mine. That's not quite how that works. And he's not the only one in Liyue with horns. Ganyu has horns that are also red and black. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never studied a day in his life, I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste buds last time he was in Liyue. That other kid you guys brought with you, though, what was his name again? Oh yeah, 
Grandmaster Hanakado. He seems like a smart cookie. Oh, they brought Grandmaster Hanakado. He probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time. But he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, uh, trying to pick up some uh, Liyue cooking skills. I suspect he just wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his own Ikabuto and make them stronger. Grandmaster Hanakado? Uh, where do we know that name from? Oh, from yeah! Didn't we meet him during that beetle battle thing that Bullchucker organized that one time? The almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Battle Brawl. Because that's not wordy enough. That's right. Good memory, Paimon. After the near catastrophe that was the Beetle Brawl, Hanakado became an ally of the Arataki gang. He and Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Onikabuto rearing strategies. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into doing in the name of Beetle Brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. It's made things a lot easier for me. For instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen. Partly to thank him for the epic feast. Oh, well, that's nice. And partly because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their Onikabuto's performance. That's still kind of smart. I think they're out looking for crabs at Guyun Stone Forest right now with Miss Shangling and Mr. Guoba. They all seem to get along great. Guoba's already made friends with Crimson Staff, as Ito calls it. And, uh, something something... Beetle King, or whatever Hanakados is called. I don't remember what Hanakados is called. They've been out for quite a while, though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Unless something put them in a playful mood. In which case, it's anyone's guess what kind of mess they might be in by now. Well, now Paimon wants to join in the fun. Crabs from Glee and Stone Forest? Mm, Paimon bets they taste great. They probably are really yummy. Why don't we go see if they need I love our crab. help? The sooner one mean restaurant is fully stocked, the sooner we get to eat there again! And while we're at it, we can see what Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakado are really up to over there. Gathering the ingredients is a lot quicker with more hands. So you two are gonna head over? Uh, yeah. I think that's a great idea! The Traveler, Paimon, and Ito make a good team. Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. Does you make a know? good point. Well. Thanks for checking up on them, you two. I don't think he actually listens to us. I'm just saying. All right. Oh. The Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp shall commence. Let's see. Where are they at? Way over? Yeah. I do love any storyline with Ito. He he brings a whole different liveliness to anything they throw him in. <laughs> Mona. This is a great place for gathering crabbies. Here we go. Next cutscene. Ah, I see it now. A hard shell, a whole bunch of legs, looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea. Throw one of these bad boys in the ring and your Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. Oh no, are we doing crab battles? I think we're doing crab battles. It's Ito! The one and Oni. That's right, Oni King. Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it has all the qualities of the perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Oni Kabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. I could see that, but crabs have claws, and that could seriously hurt your Oni Kabuto. Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever. 
four. No rest until they flipped every crab in the area onto its back. Oh no, Shangling, don't, don't, don't fan the flames. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. Oh, I see her. I see her idea. Okay. Looks like Xiangling and Guoba are part of the gang now. Haha, <laughs> time for Oni Kabuto versus Crab. Sign me up. Uh-huh. Traveler Paimon! Why don't we Fancy get our own meeting crab. you here? Oh, Oni Kabuto. Are you guys out for a walk or something? Hey Xiangling! Hey Guoba! It's Guoba! I love Guoba so much. Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant. But then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told us you were closed for a few days. So we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Aw, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. Anytime, With Mr. Jingling. Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need now. All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. And Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round Ironclad. them up for us in no time. That was the if name. If everything goes to plan. Uh -oh. oh, no. I may have spoken too soon. It's a Geofishup hatchling! Blue Checker! Hanakata, watch out! Hold on, stay calm. I'll assess the situation. Hmm. Hard shell? Check. Legs? Not too many. But it more than makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your Oni Kabuto against. No, Ito, uh, no. Uh, um, uh, how right you are, Oni King. With a training partner like this, an Oni Kabuto is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. Uh, what? Uh, are they serious right now? I think they're serious, Paimon. Wait, I think I recognize that thing. It's always rolling around on a nearby island. It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. Is this the one over on the Crystal Island? It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. How did you come to learn that? Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Go, Ironclad Beetle King! Test your challenger to its limits! I don't think this is smart. This could be childhood trauma. Uh, okay. Ironclad it Beetle King! <sighs> One hit and it's all over? I don't believe it. That, 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 that's not possible. Okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. Glorified pet rock. From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. And if you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat. Luckily for us, our Oni Kabuto have a little thing called agility on their side. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... <laughs> I think the Oni Kabuto are like, uh, no. And they're flipping themselves at this point. Uh, belly. Oni King, shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto, or...? Mm -mm. No, I don't think uh, it's a smart call. I, I will... Y um... What? Oh, Goba's got this. We've seen Goba. The Vision can understand Goba? Huh. It just up and left. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, Paimon. I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Guyon Stone Forest. Tornado gave Golba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then Tornado fell unconscious and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. Oh. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Man, 
What a cool guy. I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. I must say, I concur. <laughs> I don't know how, but Guoba-san simply commanded that hard-shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. Come to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Uh-oh. Hmm. Ah! That's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time. Guoba-san is a virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move. <laughs> Oh. Huh? Of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> These are the kind of brainwaves that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. You see, if we can get Guobasan to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster. <gasps> Guoba's like, what are you signing me up for? Can we stop discussing what special powers Guoba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Right! Get a move on, bug checker! Shinobu's waiting for you! Also, we want to eat. Paimon, coming in with true Paimonial Paimonness. <laughs> food and Mora, her two things. Food and Mora. And right now, we are looking for the food. Huh? Wait, wait, when did we get two new people? Really? You didn't notice we were here this whole time? Oh, compadre! <laughs> if it isn't the Yoni King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. Uh, nothing we have- no. Haha, <laughs> my bad. Sorry for lurking. Ito. Oh, come on! There's nothing to be embarrassed about! Oni Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. Right? But that would defeat the whole purpose! Uh, let me explain. Now, it's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. So how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No! Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Of course not! You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. Okay. I get where he's coming from with that, but a beetle versus a Geo Bishop Hatchling? That just doesn't... No. No. That's not gonna work. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Well then. I guess Ito's, you know, getting profound with us this morning. Uh, no notes. What's Great going job. The he actually said something that made sense. For once, Paimon has nothing to argue back. <sighs> you hear that? Boba's getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Oni Kabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage of the mighty sensei, Guoba-san. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is abuzz with the might of great duelists. We won that fight. Just saying. We, we, we won that fight. I say we set up a ring here and now. I shall summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens iron, we will hone our skills and training with them. Then, and only then, will we be ready to seek the guidance of Kuoba-san. 
Once we have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Paimon's got a... Well, a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. I agree with Paimon. Uh -huh. uh -oh. Oh, oh! 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 I'm with you, Grandmaster. Yeah, you're saying the time has come to unveil the plan. Oh no. This is the moment. It's time for the long awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That's right. There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena. Wait a minute. You're not in Inazuma. Hey! Nobody's hey! going to have beetles. We weren't done talking to you yet. Oh, unbelievable. Look at them. Not a care in the world. I always have time for Ito's number one passion. What is it called again? The Arataki something something? Anyway, some sort of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Hanakato might have mentioned it before. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. But right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back. Shinobu was saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates reunion, right? Won't throwing an impromptu beetle fighting Ooh. competition interfere with their plans? It really... That... That's kind of... It's kind of a little icky... For him to just throw an impromptu beetle battle competition... While she's on a trip to reconnect with classmates and... Doesn't have the time or energy to commit to making sure Ito doesn't get in trouble. Uh, well, not much we can do about it except head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu. Okay. Let's go tell Shinobu. It's weird. I was seeing something in the background, but now I don't see it. Huh. Let's go find Shinobu! Nya! Yenpei, Shinobu, we're back! Guoba, Shangling, Traveler, and Paimon! Uh, wait, where are the other two? <laughs> uh, let me guess, Ito and Hanakato are up to their usual antics? Yes. We'll fill you in shortly. First I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Mistflower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking, then we can catch up while we eat. Ooh, yummy, yummy food. We're always here for yummy, yummy food. Zhengli and Guobo whip up a meal from the ingredients collected on their trip. It's not long before an exceptional meal is served. By now, Yanfei and Shinobu are hungry too, so the feast begins. As we dine, we tell Shinobu and Yanfei about Ito and Hanakado's run-in with Crystal Tornado and the plan to hold a beetle fighting boot camp. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? <sighs> that doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. We're guests here, which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. Mm, I don't know. I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue Law, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. <laughs> Zhang Ling, here for, the, here for the business. Wait. First the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. 
I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. All right, I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later and bring the permit with me. Yanfei is in a good mood today. She didn't take any persuading to help out with the event. Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. Oh, but I feel kind of icky that she's going to her workplace to pull some strings while she's on vacation. Little icky. Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. Guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. Uh, you mean you don't need us to come with you? I mean, we totally well, can. Well, if Ito's serious about defeating that Geovicious hatchling with Oni Kabuto, Paimon's kind of curious to see how everything goes down. Yeah, we'll help you deal with Boss. Now that you mention it, didn't you help Boss out a lot at the last one of these? Mm hmm The almighty yeah. Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl? Oh, we didn't really help out. We just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. <laughs> Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll sure, or... Uh, you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead with it. Because huh? we want to battle some beetles. Okay. Back to the stone forest. Oh, they gave us a fast travel. Yes, please, and thank you. All right, boss. Fun time in Leeway is over. Let's head home. Shinobu, I, I, I can explain. No, you can't. Our funds have run out. We've spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Oh. Yenfei Senpai very kindly offered to handle the legalities. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this now before things get out of control. Okay, I see Shinobu's point. If they are out of money, there's no way they can hold this tournament. But, but, you don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki Gang's two top Onikabuto warriors just lost to some pet rock. Look, we have a whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. But once again, there are no beetles in Liyue that I am aware of. If there are beetles in Liyue, if somebody could tell me of one type of beetle in Liyue, I, I, I wanna hear about it. Put it in the comments. Pretty please. Pretty please, I will pin that comment. You've lost plenty of beetle fights before. Even I can beat you, and I'm not even a serious player. Why are you so bothered about losing to some bishop hatchling? Oh, Shinobu! That was a low blow. Anyway, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't think I've got what it takes? <laughs> and try me. Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Grandmaster oh. Hanukata, get me and boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. If I Ooh. win, you have to come back with me. No complaining, and no making any more trouble for Yenfei Senpai. Uh, Shinobu, Oni King. I... Oh, we going straight rules. Do 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 do. You're really doing this, huh? I uh didn't think you'd take it this far. Okay. Uh, so sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. I delegate this challenge to you. You're making Paimon fight me. Paimon's got this. Paimon's got this. <laughs> no surprises there. 
Uh, what Bob Checker is really saying is, if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon first. Yes, ma'am. Exact mundo, amigo. Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon is one of the Arataki Gang's top beetle fighters, but even she isn't in the same league as moi. So, Shinobu, if you want to duel with the Don, you gotta beat the Milan. <laughs> His rhyming is hilarious. Except, Hi, Mom refuses. What? What? Yeah, but I, what Ito said. You can't just expect other people to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right. So if you're out of Mora, then tough luck. You gotta watch your spending. If Paimon helps you out, that'll just make more trouble for Yanfei, and then Shinobu will owe her a favor. Okay, true. You make a fair point. But it's all good. I have a backup plan for situations like this. If we really are out of funds, then, uh... I wanted to find a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day, and pay any expenses out of my own pocket. It'll work. The Grandmaster has helped me find a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay is good, I'll take it. Now you're talking! See, that's the kind of attitude Paimon can get behind. When you're the top dog, you watch the bottom line. This is true. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people. But you still need to beat me first. I know what Boss is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikabuto stamina. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not going to make this easy for you. Beetle Battle Boot Camp is about to begin. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think. No, let me step back. Oh. Here we go. New mechanics. All right, we gotta use the guard button to defend against the jet stream attack. Oh, that is eating through our stamina. After a fierce battle, Shinobu's Onikabu Toe narrowly loses to Crimson Staff under Paimon's direction. I like that they added a tutorial. I lost. I can't believe it. That, that was so tense. Shinobu nearly got the better of time on there. What a dazzling duel. Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon destroys Shinobu on the first attempt! Oh! <laughs> you really are a natural at this, aren't you? As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. <sighs> I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. That's okay, Shinobu. <sighs> I'll have to move to plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum, and make sure Yenfei-senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. Battle beetles all you want during the day. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home were booked well in advance. I can amend the date, but only by a few days. So, keep this event to maybe four or five other people tops, or you'll run out of time, okay? I don't want you getting carried away. Got it. Sure, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. Shinobu has everything to worry about, but I think she's being very practical here. Make him keep it small, you know, so that they can actually get through the event. Okay, I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you'd better not go spending all our mora while I'm gone. Okay, so we've only got five battles to get in shape enough for Guobasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us, then take down that cocky pet rock. Shinobu is asking us to do the impossible here. But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. <laughs> Don't worry, Oni King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. So long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'll be sure to sense their presence and bring them over to our camp. Once again, there are no beetles in Liyue. We haven't been in Liyue for long, but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. We'll have no trouble finding but one of these each day. Now, 
As for the esteemed Oni King's right hand and honorable sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. <laughs> We've done our part. We saved your butts by getting Shinobu to agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her. It would be conventional to show your gratitude with a gift. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, I will uh, uh, leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't you worry. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving white iron lavender melon don't have other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. Because in a few short days, I, the bona fide Beetle Battle King, will raise my game to new heights, win the respect of Guobasan, and become a living legend! Booyah! Cool! Yeah, we'll be watching. So, uh, <laughs> no pressure or anything, but if you mess this up and everyone completely wipes the floor with you, we'll see the whole thing. Ooh, Paimon, the salt! The salt! <laughs> okay, tap the forward button to instruct the Onikaba Toad to expend a small amount of stamina to move half a tile forward and get closer to its opponent. This move will not deal damage. Hold the forward button to instruct the Onikaba Toad to charge its energy. When the charging process ends, the Onikabuto will expend a great amount of stamina to rush forward. When this rush hits an opponent, it will deal damage. The stamina consumed, the distance traveled, and the damage dealt will all change based on the amount of time and energy spent. Fully charged rush will take about two tiles forward. If the Onikabuto reaches the opponent's exact position upon finishing its rush and hits it, it can perform a piercing strike to deal great greater damage. You cannot trigger this special attack by tapping to advance and overcharging will not allow you to trigger it either. The time spent charging decides your rushing distance and you can use the charging process, no progress, to judge how far your Onikabuto will advance forward. Tap the back button to expend a certain amount of stamina and instruct the Onikabuto Kabuto to move back one tile and dodge your opponent's attacks. If the distance or timing of the dodge is incorrect, you may stay you may still take damage. If both Onikabuto release their attack at the same time, your Onikabuto will be knocked down without dealing damage to the opponent. Take a note that of the attack timings, your you should plan your charge canceling charge to avoid unnecessary stamina expenditure. Press the guard button to consume some stamina and form a shield against hostile electro bullets and jet streams. Okay. Well, let's see. We have a lot of opponents. We will start here. Listen to the next breakdown. Iron Tongue Tien. Hello all. I am Iron Tongue Tien, here with an official signboard it's for the Arataki Tien. Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bullchucker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Ah! Uh, oh, sweet! That looks awesome. Sorry, it's not my own that original awesome. artwork, but check out that design! And that line work! It's so cool! <laughs> it's epic! It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle! Dude! Wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Uh, maybe. Esquire? Ah, no. That's the one. Tian Esquire, your artwork is incredible! Words cannot express the Arataki gang's gratitude. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yenfei looks out for her a lot, so when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yenfei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. 
This is exactly what we needed. Still pulling those Young strings. Young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. <laughs> Who knows? It might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. This kid's Dude. smart. Oh, that'd be awesome. All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire. Yeah, Squire. <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win. Okay, we're gonna start with our focused fight. I wasn't sure if, if, if they were going to flip. All right. Ah, wonderful. Hmm. I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here to be told time and again. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. Ah, the pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. Poor Ito. <laughs> he doesn't and get it right. Details. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please, pay no regard. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Man. I've never fought against someone so cultured before. My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? Oh yeah, learning. <laughs> Looks like the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. Oh yeah. We have lots of competitors here. But let's go ahead and take on Buttercup of Terror. Kabuto are our friends, like cats and doggies. Another she's adorable. Kid? Oh my gosh, she's so what? adorable. Didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakado's a kid too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Mm-hmm. Although, uh, Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience, her chosen Oni Kabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I don't know what you She's guys are so talking cute. about. My Oni Kabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Oh, ho, ho. your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. <gasps> You make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side! That is not yeah, true. Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. <laughs> Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun! Okay. Press the guard button to consume some stamina to form a shield against hostile electro bullets. Use guard right before the electro bullet hits to bounce it back. Ooh, we can ricochet. Let's do it. Going right in. Boom! Go through the bullet!
because leaning helps. I didn't jump fast enough. Why don't we get bullets? I want bullets! Okay. Challenge complete. Whew. Paimon nearly messed that up. You did just uh, fine, Paimon. Oh, I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So, this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I get it now! She's adorable, oh my uh, god. Do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play too. Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this. Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bull Checker, if you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Guoba talk to Crystal Tornado. Ha! <laughs> Paimon's throwing a uh, little bit of shade. Yeah, I just wish. a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We've done two. Right? No, we've done three battles. We have two left. Let's see. Hey there, I'm back. So then, how's the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp coming along? Great timing, Yanfei. My savior! Oh, thanks for helping out with the permit. Oh, and for the sign with the epic artwork. Wait, I know that look. Are you, uh... Looking to flip some beetle too? Huh? Flip Something some wrong beetle. With that? I have a big client who does a lot of cross-border commerce. Anyway, she showered me with gifts once after I helped her win a huge lawsuit. And among them was a very special Oni oh. I didn't know how to look after it at the time, so I got Granny to look after it for a while. It's looking pretty buff these days. Mind if I join in? You're not worried I'll cramp your style, are you? We ought not dismiss your savior, Oni King. What she lacks in experience, she makes up for with one of the sturdiest built and most awe-inspiring Oni Kabuto I have ever seen. Oh. You make me an offer I can't refuse. All right, time to send in the Oni King's right hand with Crimson Staff. I know my compadre will stay cool under pressure. Of course. Thanks for the vote of confidence. So it's me versus the Traveler? All right. I haven't quite got the hang of this game yet, so apologies in advance for any blunders. Here we go. Oh, that is a chonky beetle. That is a chonky beetle. Well then. That hurts! Ah! I interrupted it! It didn't work the first two times, but the third time was the charm! Yanfei's Oni Kabuto is so strong! What is Madam Ping been feeding that thing? It's Madam Ping. I'm sure she's feeding it the best. See? Your savior's Oni Kabuto is a force to be reckoned with. But just like last time, when my generals threw you a few curveballs, the mightiest blade cannot slay its foe except in the hands of a skilled swordmaster. Why wise words, Grandmaster? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good thing my compadre kept it together. Wow, what a blast. I could get into this whole beetle battling thing. <sighs> This is so much fun. Thanks, everyone. I'm gonna stick around and play some more. Okay, we have battled some beetles. We have earned some Primo gems, and I think even com completed our commissions through the event. Something important to remember, guys, is doing these events will complete your daily commissions. 
then you don't have to go and do those pesky little quests every day. They make life nice and easy for us. Let's come over here and get all of our rewards. Oh, we still have two fights left. And those will be for next time. So on that note, guys, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you're enjoying the journey and want to continue progressing storylines with me, remember to do all the fun things, the likes, the follows, the subscribes, all that good jazz, because it appeases the algorithm archon and it keeps me in your feet. And if you want to keep up to date with all my shenanigans, remember to check out my socials. I am at shifty <sighs> underscore nitty on almost all of them. I think I'm on X. I think I'm on TikTok. I think I'm on Insta. I think I'm on Threads. Threads is a new one. And you can meet me there. Also, we do have a new Discord. I will be linking it down below. And I hope to see you all there. We can continue the conversation. Please let me know in the comments which was your favorite Oni Kabuto. And I will catch you next time. And, oh, I hope you have a great day. And stay safe. And...